and we get to see one of the nation's most exciting and dynamic players. Iowa freshman Caitlin Clark makes her tourney debut in San Antonio today. Look at the flow of the game. This is the speed that you see both teams play in the regular season. Clark on the drive and the foul. Iowa has come back to tie it up. Well, Davis, you may think that may be a little bit of a deep three. She can go deeper than that. And Caitlin Clark can go deeper than that. She knocks down a long triple. She's got eight. Clark steps in for a three. Back out top, Martin buries a three. What a corner for Iowa's. Just and grow in college is the time where you really make those adjustments, but they had to figure out how to play through adversity. Clark buries another one. So CMU takes the timeout. Clark, straight line, pull up just inside the logo. Logan Cook on for Iowa. She gets the rebound and here is Clark. Defended by Martinez. Off the window, two more for Caitlin Clark. Clark defended now by Davis, and that is what Caitlin Clark does. Uh, looks like Central Michigan is kind of confused on what defense they're playing. It looks like they're trying to do a triangle in two, but not staying attacked to players. And sloppy with the ball is one way to put it. Iowa able to get it back. She didn't have to score in the third quarter. When you have other players stepping up, her presence on the court is enough to score. And she must have heard us talking about it. It tips it right in. The, the hustle player. Clark behind the back, Sonata with the finish. Beautiful dish by Caitlin Clark. How she even saw Sonano. Look at that behind the back pass. Great finish. That's the shout out to Super. Hey, knockdown shot. Kentucky settles for an outside shot for Wyatt. Here's Clark in transition. Used the dribble to get free. Got enough space against Patterson to knock down a three. And a great start for Iowa and an early timeout for Kentucky. Iowa had come ready to play, but Caitlin Clark leading the charge. Step back three. Well, you got to love the challenge that Coach Elsie put on Ryan Howard. She didn't want her to just be known as a scorer. She wanted her to be a better defender. Uh, I like the way Blair Green has come in and has been aggressive. Clark, everything's <laughs> falling for the freshman. One of the plans is to try to keep fresh bodies on the floor. We saw what happens when Caitlin Clark comes off the floor. We saw that in the Central Michigan game. So trying to make sure, and she's going to stay red hot. Added out by McKinney, but picked up by Clark. Pull up three, of course, of course, Caitlin Clark's got it going here in round two. Looking down low, Tanano working down low. Clark defended by Benton. Clark launches again. Clark drains another one. On Marshall on the drive by Howard. Now Benton, too much space for Caitlin Clark. She's already on fire. Back out top to Clark, defended by the freshman Hunt. Clark, a couple of good fakes to get free and drains another three-pointer. The biggest comeback in school history. Oh, that's got to drop, but their defense on the way. And you know that will drop. And you know that will drop. <laughs> now is the time that you can slow it down a little bit and get the shot attempt that you want. So not only the basket that she made before, it was set up by the pace and the way that they play. Beautiful adjustment by Clark, the drive to the basket to allow herself opportunities to get open. And then the thing that I love the most when I watch her is how hard she plays as she knocked down yet another shot, sitting at 35 points now. Been rewarded like Williams was on the last possession. A 10-2 UConn run. Clark trying to force the action, banks it in for Nelson Adota. Oh, nice find. Sonato to Clark for two. Decker's the board, will flick it ahead, Williams, one more, no, rejected by Clark, and that'll do it 
for the first half. Yeah, Iowa in their 1-1-3 one, one, zone there. You know they like to trap the baseline. Clark all the way in, lays it home as she tumbles to the hardwood. Gino Oriama, who also has his own thrust. <laughs> Clark, a deep one. Oh, gets that to drop. The game is in good hands with these two freshmen. But if there was open gym at 6.30, it was an hour and a half away, so Jan would be on the road at 5 a.m. recruiting her. Their whole staff as she splashes another three. Deflected. Martin back to Clark. Her three is good. Caitlin Clark buries a three to end the third. Caitlin Clark, this is like a layup for her. Rhythm dribble left, step back, splash. Mark the spin, and that is the first bucket of the fourth quarter for the nation's leading scorer, the freshman Caitlin Clark. And Rebecca, I certainly hope this is not the last time we see Paige Beckers and Caitlin Clark go up against each other in college. And then Sweet 16 run a year ago when they got knocked out by UConn. Here is Clark, and her first shot is good. And we can talk about the scoring ability, what she's done. But it has been... Tommy Tyler, the senior from Carmel, Indiana, checks in. Here is Sonano, two defenders on her. Clark gets a look, and it's... Clark, the pass. She averages eight assists and eight rebounds per game, along with those 27 points. She gets to the line an awful lot. No one in the last 20 years, men or women, has been the leading scorer in the country as a freshman and a sophomore. And that's what Clark is doing right now. Makes, make the right decisions, and let's not forget the defense. Shooting the gap, baiting. Her first quarter, excuse me. She puts it in there. There's another steal. She's got a couple of them as well. Looking to get to the bucket, ladies and gentlemen. From Warnock. And a steal by Clark. Good anticipation. Leads to the line. Oh, oh, oh. 15 in the first half for Caitlin. Four of 16 from outside the arc. Once we're from him, that Mary Thompson's three of five. So the rest of the team. Sonano again. A bullet pass. Clark gets the outlet. Waits for Sonano screen, Sonano rolls, Sonano scores, and one! Well, Beth, pretty good defense by Illinois State. They switch on the on-ball, but even better offense. Great, tremendous court vision by Caitlin Clark to find her best buddy. Well, I really don't think Illinois State wins this past Sunday over you and I without the offensive performance of Mary Wong. Clark, count it! Just had been too long before Clark got a shot opportunity. Cuts to the rim, through the contact. Now here in the second half against Illinois State. Now left to Clark, leaving, looking. Sneaking through a couple of defenders for the win. Caitlin Clark gets the outlet and is so efficient with the dribbles, not just scoring, splitting and kissing off the glass. Clark, the lob of Grady, and up and in. And Clark would rebound number six. Will she play enough minutes as she picks up her tenth assist, so she's got the double-double. Florida goes post on a big upset win. Here comes Clark. Good pull up. Transition three, and now 27 for Clark. Ten assists, six rebounds. Big on the big stage. Look at this kind of pull-up three-point jumpers. What a layup would be for the rest of us. Just money. Joseph is wide open inside, assisted by Tatum Rimbaugh. And the quick counter. That's Iowa's game. They love the transition. And an opportunity again inside. That's Bachelor with the bucket. Clark. Terrific off the bench, 13 points in the first round. Clark 
with a third Brooklyn defender on her and knocks it down for two. Leading scorer in the country. Trying to get a second body to her. She finds Sinano, and there's that vision. And a big reason why she leads the nation in assists as well as points. Well, Beth, we came in knowing that Monica Sinano was going to be the key for Iowa to get the win today. Executive sellout dating back to their regular season finale when they beat Michigan for a share of the regular season title. Clark coming off the screen for three. Chris Kimmel will get him on the house, and now they're on their feet. Set play call from the bench. Just a quick down screen, and that's all Caitlin Clark needs. Gets her feet set, shoulder set, before the ball even hits her hands. Rebounded by Tyro. Here comes Caitlin Clark. Step back, three. Got it! She's able to get downhill because the defense shifted towards Clark. Clark with the block. Ellie Gazzardo, the head coach. This team rallied twice in the Southland Conference Tournament for wins, and that went dead on. Right on the money. Inside, Sonata can't get it to go. Clark with a little fall away, got it. Oh, boy. The fader! And what will the team do without said player? And for me, you take Peyton Clark off the floor, I mean, that just creates so many issues for Iowa. Tough shot there, got it to go past Cunningham. I don't care if you're the first, second, or third line of defense, that's a problem for you. She applies so much pressure with what she does with the ball. Clark with a triple, yes. Everybody in the world knows she's gonna take it. And she hits it. Yeah. Great strike on the other. And then Stokey able to lay that up in it for two. Graduate, I was a thank you, Lordy. <laughs> Clark on the spin inside and banks it in and draws a foul too. Sonato hauling in seven rebounds a game. She was named to the Wooden Award late season top 20. She needs some empty space on the shelf to roll into the basket for an easy two. And Caitlin Clark is on triple double watch and we're not even to halftime yet. Lane opens up and she'll lay it in. Oh, well, you just can't sleep for a second. Bell lost it. Clark ahead for Davis and will lay it in on a foul two. They have been built for this all season long. The word for them has been resilience all year. Underneath, Sonato gets him started here in the second half. For Caitlin Clark, they are tracking her. Every move that she makes. Clark will loft it up there and swish it in with a three. Such a quick release. Open look here for Chapman, and it's a round and up. And Sonata with the rebound. She falls in about seven a game. Look at Clark. Yes! She gets to that logo. Of offense for Iowa is Caitlin Clark, whether she's pulling up. She's a great rebounder. She pokes it away from behind. Smith did not see her coming. Look at the pass inside. Sonato. And one. Absolutely, and it's because of her attitude, not her statistics. She has the guts to pull a shot like that in the clutch. Like straight on and nothing but net for the All-American. Clark on the move, leaning in. Yes, and a foul. She scored a little bit, but she also had a lot of opportunities that did not go her way. Martin will flip back for Clark. She'll launch it. Got it. Normally, she would have tried to swat at it or get a block with those long arms. Decided better of it. Great discipline by Clark, but a strong steal and finish by Georgia once again. Clark with an open look. Swishes in the triple. Let's see if Iowa can settle and be composed. See how early they're picking up Clark. Got to pick up Sonato, too. And that's what separates her. Three-level scorer and facilitator. Another one there for Warnock. 50 seconds to go. The player of the year candidate, Clark, with it. Trying to make a move. Using the window for two. Well, that's just terrific execution. Using Vonley as a screener when Sonato's not guarding her up top. How do you guard Caitlin Clark? Well, that's what you do. 
draw the attention and get it to Sonano. Second time these two programs have played. Last time was in 2017. Clark draws contact and got it. They had to shake off the jitters, I think, early in this ballgame, looking to settle in. Taylor Clark has an answer. Working against Weta. Sonano with the screen. Clark needs no room. Man, I, I don't know how Colorado is going to play the two-man game. During the WNBA season, to finally retiring after, to say the least, a very successful career. Warnock. Wow. Clark with the terrific pass to Warnock. That's vintage Caitlin Clark. Terrific job by Weta to get down there and seal her off. Sonano, nothing to it from Clark again. But the other thing I like that, that Jalen Sherrod talked to us about was just this team and the grit and the pride and the toughness as Caitlin Clark knocks down a three. There are a lot of Iowa fans here in Seattle and Caitlin with the steal and the stick. She's found a way to get downhill, but when she hasn't converted, she's been sent to the foul line and just has not been able to knock him down. Another good pass inside, this time to Warnock. And now the first three of the second half for Colorado. Started the game six of 13. One of their last seven, and that was a big one. Clark, can she answer? Of course. She reminded them that they've got three timeouts left to use one if it helped avoid a turnover. But the biggest message was boxing out. Clark with the basket there. They have been getting killed on the board. Here's Van Lint as it's stolen by Clark. Clark trying to outrace Cochran, able to pizza pie at home. And a Stolke, impressive freshman. Big getting ready to check in for Iowa. Clark, great feed. Warnock, she got it. Van Lith can't answer. Rebound Marshall. 13-10, Louisville lead. Oh, what a find. Clark to Warnock. Clark looking to shake free. Clark, step back three. Is good. Here's Clark, guarded by Robinson. Clark firing again. Oh, my! Caitlin Clark, a showstopper. And then again, a different defender, but still on the smaller side and able to hit it. Possession arrow belongs to Iowa, so it's going to stay here. Here's Clark open in the corner. She got it. Clark will fire and hit. Jones can't hit the quick jumper. Not sure Jeff Walls loved the shot. Here's Clark. Oh, what a no look. Warnock finishes. Another rebound, Warnock, who's having a huge game. That's not the shot. Clark connects on a three. Timeout, Louisville. Of the junior's career. Here's Clark, wide open. You bet. 31 for the Maestro. With getting some of those turnovers Lisa Bluter was talking about. Dorica Kono into the game for Louisville. Clark decides to take. Why not? And Jones just threw a hand up in the air like, what more can I do? Caitlin Clark can control the crowd's emotions and she can control the game. They gave Caitlin Clark that 10th rebound a moment ago. So Caitlin Clark is the author of the first 30-point triple-double in NCAA tournament history. Rebecca Lobo was a sophomore two years away from a national championship. <laughs> and Caitlin Clark has a 40-point triple-double in the Elite Eight. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Saxton has the position inside, surrounded and just taken away by Sonato. 
Clark, the get ahead, right in the lap of Warnock for two. That foul was on Sexton. South Carolina, a very deep team. Clark looking to turn the corner, lays it in. Through the contact for Caitlin Clark. Zaya Cook off to a terrific start here in the semifinals. Clark will fire and hit from three. She's done the work, and Zaya Cook has been the mentally strong player here in the first quarter. Clark, great look. Sonano lays it in. And unlike Boston, Clark is going to remain on the floor. Clark fading and hitting. Sydney a falter, gets it in the arms of Clark. Clark gets it across the timeline. A deep three is good! Clark dumps it to Sonato on the roll, serves it in. Standing crew, including Carolyn Peck, honored at halftime, headed to the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. So will she someday. Caitlin Clark buries the three. First three of the game for South Carolina. Stolke running on the other end, lays it in on the dime from Clark. The overpowering size and strength of South Carolina at every position. Clark has the mismatch. Oh, Caitlin Clark, now you see her, now you don't. A great give and go between your big 6'7 Cardoso easily passing it over to 6'5 Boston. Clark gets a clean look and knocks it down. Clark eyes up using the screen from Sonato. Bounces to her on the roll for two. Here's Clark. A deep one. You back! with 31 points. You know she loves the right to left crossover. We've seen multiple times in this game, the defender right there, and it still results in three. Clark, got it. A 40-point semifinal for Caitlin Clark. Just to make it a two-possession lead again. Oh, yeah. Martin. Gets it into Clark. Clark races away. And the mythical mastery of Caitlin Clark continues. Iowa has conquered South Carolina. And Mulkey told them before that fourth, as Sonato comes up with a steal, she said, act like there's only two minutes left. Didn't want them to think there was ten. Clark. Oh, my. Welcome to the national championship game. Here's Clark on the cut, the bounce, Sonano waits, and finishes. That was a big problem for them in the first couple of minutes. Here's Clark getting some space, and knocks it down. Sonato gets it back to Clark with space. She got it. Third three of the quarter for Caitlin Clark. Here's Clark pedaling through. Sonano, trying to get it back to her, Clark, again! She's almost fictional at this point. But Asia Williams is very capable when she catches the ball, both facing the basket and with her back to it. Good decision there. Clark, what a feed! And the finish from Martin! Not only have they shot it well from the floor, they have shot it well from the free throw line, 10 of 11. That is not characteristic of them. Clark knocks down a three. Clark behind the back, separates, and hits! Clark playing with three fouls. Clark separates and knocks down another. A title game record, 7-3 for Caitlin Clark. Lead is back to 16. What a dime from Clark and Warnock able to finish. Clark separates and knocks down a three. Has it. 
Morris up in her space. Clark through the lane. Nice delivery. And O'Grady lays it in. 11-point game. Shot clock. Foreman staying right with her. Off the spin. The help comes and one. There's no defense for shots like this, right? Terrific individual effort. Staying glued to Caitlin Clark. The first half and, and that's what it's going to take and for Caitlin Clark to continue to trust them to trust that the game is going to open up for her and there she breathes a sigh of relief those two are heavily reliant on their defenses Martin back door from Clark Kate Martin able to finish an easy two Basically getting production from all five players on the floor Number one in the country in scoring, number one in assists, number two in field goal percentage, number one in most threes made. And there's another one for Caitlin Clark. The Crusaders have found a little bit of rhythm on the offensive end. They're not going to give up. They're going to continue to chip away, but you've got to stay in the space and not let 22 get herself going. She's trying to set up inside. Foreman looks for three. Clark, off the crossover, goes to the left side and lays it up and in. Crowd trying to pick up the energy. Clark gets the steal. And Caitlin with the lay-in. Another steal for Clark. Unopposed for the layup. Well, it's been the perfect storm in a sense of the growth of the game, the way the game is played, how entertaining it is, social media. These athletes allowing themselves to be seen. This game tomorrow against Carolina as Kate Martin checks out probably for the last time. Gabby Marshall also has departed. No, and it's exactly what Iowa wants. They're playing this 2 3 zone, going to try to force contested shots from the three point line. And there is Kate Clark knocking down a big one. It's able to corral that loose ball. Clark. Steps behind the screen and hits. Well, that three solid in warm-up. She wasn't missing a lot. And you know the frustration from that first round matchup against Holy Cross that Caitlin Clark was going to come out locked in and ready to go. On the run, Stokey. Lefty land. A lot of reference to popcorn. Got to, yeah. yes. Clark. First step to the side over Hemingway, and that's her third. A lot of space, and she loves the lefty step back, and she's able to create enough. That's a good contest by Jayla Hemingway. Just a they will be in the other regional, Regional 1 in Albany. And if you're the Mountaineers, you don't want to get caught falling for the trap of continuing to shoot through. It looked like she was expecting the inbound pass. Well, she still seems a little bit out of sorts. She only played 10 minutes. In the opening round, due to illness, as Clark hits her fourth triple of the night. Big surprise so far in the tournament, the seven seed upsetting Ohio State. Deep three, Clark! Clark off the cross, into the lane, the hang and the hit! Well, this is a great take. Kaylin Clark looks like she's going to pull back by for the three, and Hemingway gets into her space, stays on balance. See immediately, Jalen Sherrod has the defensive assignment like she did a year ago on Caitlin Clark. Clark bodies right through Sherrod in an early bucket for Caitlin Clark. Iowa had just 17 made field goals in that second round win. They already have three today. Clark left alone, lays it in. Mia Sadler, here's Clark. Nice look, and the layup is good for a falter. Shot? What a pass. I mean, just incredible. Splitting the defense, and she knows how to get it where. Big time threat from three. Whitaker dancing through the lane, couldn't finish. Here comes Clark, flings it ahead to a falter, lays it in, plus the foul. Here's Clark with Iowa swiftly up the floor. 
Clark being hawked by Weta. Clark able to finish. Clark bounces, needs help, finds Stolke. What a pass! And Stolke lays it in. A delectable dime from Caitlin Clark to finish the first. Already with six assists here in the first quarter, sometimes sees what no one else does. Stolke gathers, finishes. Ooh, that last shot is up for you to see if the ball was a good before. A number that. Lisa Bluter kept bringing up to her team as they prepared for this game. Clark, she got it. When they met Iowa last season. At 18 points in that first half. Clark, putting it in off the window. Caitlin Clark in double figures. And again, Clark had to be careful with those two fouls. Her back in. Oh, what a time. Clark on the money to a falter for two. Nolan. Gives it up. Stolke comes up with a steal. Here is Clark. Clark. Oh, my goodness. What a pass from a bucket in the foul. Consistently able to get to the rim on her drives. Clark now swipes it away. Here is Clark in transition. Always dangerous. Clark working behind Stolke and lays it in. Clark in the corner, connects on a three. Second three of the day for Clark. She is 22 points. He's up. Here's Clark. Wheeling back. Will fire. And hit. Of 25 points and 10 assists. And Caitlin Clark has accounted for five of them. Oh, what a dime. And a falter lays it in. Here's Clark. Clark lays it in. 29 for Caitlin Clark. She's 13 of 22 from the floor. Most important things for Iowa in this game is to be able to secure defensive boards. LSU, an outstanding offensive rebounding team. Clark connects. Going to be given opportunities to take shots tonight. They need her to feel confident in her mid range. And I think Iowa is okay giving up the mid range. Here's Clark driving in for two has averaged over 21 points in her collegiate career. That's third most amongst active players. Clark, back door, Martin, easy two. Here's an interesting substitution for LSU. As last year, Poa comes into the game. It was Poa who drew two offensive fouls on Clark in last year's national championship game. She has more size and length. Clark, you bet. 3.30 to go in the first quarter. Clark looking to turn the corner, lays it in, plus the foul. In terms of her balance, getting threes from the perimeter and then opportunities for threes in the paint. In the backcourt, Martin gets it ahead. Iowa with numbers. Here's Clark, catch, fire, and hit. In the corner, wide open, Williams, no, and O'Grady the rebound. Clark running. Clark eyes up behind the back, through the lane, lays it in. A trip to the final four at stake. Clark was trying to redirect a pass. Clark, oh my, from Schenectady. Caitlin Clark here, Haley Van Lith right there, but you're never right there when it's Caitlin Clark. The bench is cut from Johnson and fine from Reese. Defense for them in the first half. Here's Martin running the floor and lays it in on the dime from Clark. How about the pace of this game? Clark wheels around, evades Van Lith and drains it. My goodness. No other player has done before. Logo, left, three, like no other. She got an IV because she's been so sick before that UCLA game. That's how sick she was. Clark! She's possessed. It's the distance on these Caitlin Clark threes. It's just ridiculous. Here's Martin. Clark, again coming off the screens. Clark steps back, fires, you bet! 
And while Reese started six of eight, is 0 of seven since. Remember, she also injured her ankle. Here's Clark. Will she pull up? Finding a falter who lays it. should surprise you because she's been doing it all season. Oh, what a pass! Clark to O'Grady for the finish. Morrow with 12 points, 12 rebounds, playing in her first Elite Eight game. Clark again! <laughs> what is Haley Van Lith supposed to do? She goes over the screen. Here's Clark. Clark pulls up another deep one. Is good! 40 point game for the all-time leading scorer in Division I history. Johnson launches, can't hit, rebound Morrow, gets blocked. Underneath, that will do it. This time, it's Iowa! The Hawkeyes are headed back to the Final Four! One of the things that Lisa Bluter's worked on all season is getting Clark off the ball more. Here's Clark driving and laying, and Caitlin Clark has the first point. Clark finds Stolke beautifully, and Stolke lays it in. With the highest scoring offense since 2014. Clark drives this one and lays it in. Smart. Being watched the whole way by Mule, who has two fouls. Clark on the drive, banks it in. Mule had to be careful there. Little momentum for Iowa. Clark to a falter. A falter lays it in. Now Clark comes back to the basketball. Clark looking to spin away from traffic. Double screen, gets open, and hits. First three of the night for Caitlin Clark. Stolke. Trying to get it to Clark, does her three, is good, plus the foul! Basketball, Nika Mule denying, denying all over the court. This is good defense, and Caitlin Clark doesn't get much space. And then lands on. Here's Clark, driving, finding, Stokey gets whacked, able to finish. No whistle, Iowa bench apoplectic that there wasn't a foul. Iowa has not had a two-possession lead yet tonight. Clark, step back, three, you bet! She's going, coming to check in now, but here, the step back to the left, that's really good defense for Nika Mule and Papa Clark. Clark, trying to work Arnold, separates and finishes! Brady and Arnold both playing with four fouls. And a knockaway from Clark. Here comes Clark in transition. Bounces. Stokey able to finish. What a dish from Caitlin Clark. Clark to inbound. Iowa by two. Point eight to go. And that will do it. Iowa survives Connecticut and heads back to the national championship game. Here's a falter, we're gonna drive it again. Needs help this time. Flings it out, Clark, open three, is good! Tahina Pow Pow, top three in the nation in three-point shooting percentage. Here's Clark, wheeling, taking, and banking it home. She was an unstoppable force last season against Iowa, but was coming off the bench. Clark, oh my! Firing away from deep. Yes, you have to guard her even. Lee Hall now with the defensive assignment again on Clark. Look at her hand right in Clark's face. Clark looking to separate from Hall. Clark, the drive, able to bank it in. You have about a six second difference game in shot clock. Here's Clark. Will Iowa wind it down? No, that's why. One point Iowa lead. Clark yet to score in the second. We'll put up a three here. And hit! Championship game. The space she creates. Clark 
hops in, bodies inside, and finishes. Tough finish for Clark, who is looking for an and one. She has 23 points. Here comes Clark. Clark finds the cutter. What a look. The video game vision of Caitlin Clark. And then here's that video game vision for you, Ryan Rucco. Stokey with the two. Spectre to have good legs and bounce and determination here. Tessa Johnson in as well. Here is Clark. Clark into the paint, spinning and finishing. Depth of production from her throughout the tournament, but she's had key timely baskets throughout. Clark wanted a whistle, did not get it, does get the roll. Ability that this South Carolina team has. Clark didn't get much space there with Hall on her. Clark, the crossover, and the hit from three. And Caitlin Clark says goodbye to college basketball. No one has done more to grow the popularity in a broad way of this game, in the history of the game, than Caitlin Clark.